Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be demonstrating the two division sums that have been requested by one of the subscribers. Uh, the first sum is a three digit divided by a two digit divisor and the second one is a four digit number divided by a two digit divisor. So let's start with the first sum. In case of division, as we all know that we uh, take two different uh, units place uh, sets. Okay, so this uh, middle units place dot white dot becomes the units place for our answer set okay so units tens hundreds this this is a place for our final answer that is a quotient and this uh, white dot will be considered as a units place for the question set that is the number that we are supposed to divide okay so the number to be divided in the first sum is 405 so it should end on this dot so 405 I have taken it on the question set right now and the divisor is a two digit number that is 27. So as we are considering that we don't know the uh, table of 27 by heart, what we'll do is we'll take three uh, multiples of 27. 27 one times is 27 itself. So 27 two times we'll be noting it down. We'll be calculating it beforehand. So 27 two times is 54. That 54 I'll uh, take on this extreme right corner. So 54. Okay, so just to, to keep it in front of my eyes. So this is 54 that is 27 two times and 27 three times is 81 that I'll take on the extreme left corner 81. Okay, so just to keep it in front of my eyes here. Now we'll start with the division sum. So we'll be considering the first two digit number here from this uh, question set. So the first two digit number is 40. From this 40, what, what can we subtract? 1 times, 2 times or 3 times? As we can see, we can subtract only 1 times, right? 27 1 times is 27. So we can subtract only that number from this 40. So we'll be taking 1 in our answer set. But on which rod is the most important point. This is, this is the second rod or the tenths place rod of our question set. So the answer will start on the tenths place rod of the answer set. So this is the tenths place rod of the answer set. I'll be taking 1 on this rod and then subtract 27 from this 40. So 20 and for subtracting 7 here it is plus 3 minus 10. Okay. Now we will move to the next rod. Now the number that we can see here up to this rod. Okay. Up to this rod is 135, 135. And from this what can we subtract at uh, nearest one? 2 times or 3 times? we can see that we can easily subtract 81 from 135. So we'll be taking three times that is three on the answer set. But on which rod? This 135 is ending on the units place rod. So the answer will be taken on the units place of the answer set. So 27 three times is 81. So I'll be subtracting 81 from this 135. To subtract 81 I need to subtract 8 here. So plus 2 minus 10 and for subtracting 1 here it is plus 4 minus 5. Okay, so the first step for the units place answer is done. We still have a number of 54 here. So we can now sub still subtract this 54 that is which is 2 times of 27. We can subtract 54 from this 54. So we can add a 2 here on the units place rod. Adding 2 here we get plus 5 minus 3 and we'll then subtract this 54. So the question set or the question number to be divided is done. It's subtracted completely. The final answer that we have after dividing that 405 divided by 27, the final answer that we have is 15. It's an exact, multi uh, 405 was an exact multiple of 27 and there is no remainder here. Okay, so this is the final answer that we have, 15. Now let's consider the second question. Second sum, the divisor, the, sorry, the dividend that is a number to be divided is a four digit number. It's 1944. So I'll be starting from here 1944. Okay. And the divisor here is 54. So uh, again, assuming that we don't know the table of 54 by heart, we'll be taking two times and three times on the abacus. Two times of 54 is 108. Okay, so I'll take 108 in the extreme right corner, 108 and 3 times of 54 is 162. Okay, so I'll take 162 in the extreme left corner, 162 and now we'll start with the division process. 
the divisor is a two digit number so we'll be considering the first two digits of the question set the first two digits from the left are form a number 19 this 19 is smaller than our divisor 54 okay so we cannot do anything on this uh, third rod of the answer set okay so this third rod of the answer set will have nothing now we'll move one rod further the, now the number that we see up to this point up to this rod is 194 okay from this 194 as we can see we can subtract this number 162 very easily so three times of 54 can be subtracted from 194 so we'll be starting with the uh, three on the answer set on which rod since this 194 ends on the tens place rod of the question set our answer will start on the tens place rod of our answer set okay so we'll be taking three on this answer sets uh, tens place rod and then we'll subtract 162 from this 194 okay we'll subtract 162 okay so 162 subtraction is done now the number remaining on the uh, abacus on the question set up to this rod is 32 which is smaller than our divisor since the number is smaller than our divisor we need to move one rod further ahead now so moving one rod further with the we can see a number of 324 up to this units place rod of the question set from this 324 as we can see we can subtract this 162 very easily so we'll be taking the three on the answer set appropriate rod of the answer set which rod so this number 324 ends on the units place rod of the question set so the next answer will be taken on the units place rod of the answer set so three times 162 uh, three times of 54 is 162 we'll be subtracting that so we'll take three on the units place of the answer set three is taken here and from this 324 we'll subtract 162 okay so one for subtracting six here it is plus four minus ten and two okay so after this part we still have a number 162 on the question set so another three times of 54 can be subtracted from this so another three will be added on the same rod because we are on the same units place rod of the question set the next three also will be added on the units place of the answer set so adding three here we get plus five minus two and then we'll subtract this 162 from here the question set uh, number is done completely uh, subtracted so there is no remainder again this time and the answer we have after dividing 1944 by 54 we get the answer as 36 36 is our final answer okay